What is up guys, Woody Ellis 3 coming at you with another vlog. Today we're going to be going to KHP. I'm gonna go get my truck tuned. I don't know if I'm gonna get a dyno tune. I don't think I'm like, I want that right now. I just I just wanna get it street tuned so I can drive my truck. We'll see what Kika wants to do, if he wants to put on the dyno just to see what it did, which we don't have a baseline, but maybe with the cam, I'm sure it added a couple horsepower. Uh, horsepower, horsepower, all this polo on, I got horsepower. Right now, I just really wanna get it street tuned so I can drive my truck again. So we're gonna be headed to KHP to get this thing tuned. On the way over there, I'm gonna have to double pedal it. Double pedal it. <laughs> When I come to stoplights, because it's gonna want to turn off because it's not tuned, but no big deal. I've done that many times before. The only thing is, it is pretty far to KHP from Conroe. I know we'll make it, and I'm trying to do it early in the morning so I can avoid traffic. So let's go ahead and jump in the truck and let's go head over to KHP with Kike and Miguel. <laughs> So we're here at KHP. Let's go inside with Kike and see if we can get this truck tuned. So let's go. All right, guys, we're here with Miguel. He's gonna do a little bass tune just so we can get the truck up and it won't turn off on us. So Miguel, what you gonna do to it? Uh, we're just gonna adjust some parameters that way, just to move it up the parking lot while Kike pulls up right now. That way we can go ahead and finish tuning it. Yeah. There it is. There it is, guys. Let's go ahead and get this done. Guys, so they actually took the truck. Miguel did the baseline on it, and Kike he went and took the truck. He's gonna just make sure everything's going good. He's gonna just, like I said, just do a street tune right now. I don't want to do a dyno tune just because all I did was just did the cam. I know it's not gonna make crazy, crazy horsepower. I just wanted to be able to run it without having to hold the brake and do the gas. So that's what they're gonna do here. They're gonna street tune it that way the truck makes sure everything checks out and everything goes the way it should. So once Kiki gets back, we'll ask him a little bit about what he did and uh, just see if, if the truck changes in the loping and uh, the chopping on the cam. So I'm sure it's gonna change. It's probably gonna sound a little better, obviously, now that it's tuned. So we're gonna check it out and see how it sounds. Uh, we'll wait till he gets back so I can go ahead and show y'all the truck. Yeah, guys, you can kind of hear it now. He's doing, a, he's still tuning it, but you can hear the difference. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I can't wait to hear it once it's fully done. And uh, there's actually an event today, and they're actually getting ready. They're taking one of their fast, their shop truck. Uh, I believe it's called the Onyx truck, and it's an NA truck. So they're actually getting ready to head out. They're washing their trailer right now uh, to head out to the event. So I'm gonna show you a little clip of that truck. Uh, I remember that truck that was getting built when I took my extended cab out there. So now the truck is done. Can't wait to show y'all how that truck looks. Damn guys, that's their shop truck. That's the shop truck, right, Miguel? Yeah, that's, that's the shop truck. Sh NA shop truck. NA shop truck. Yes. Oh crap, that's crazy. <laughs> Dang, it smells good. What is that? U16. Oh, damn. Race fuel. Yeah. Race fuel, huh? Woo, look at that, guys. Damn, look at the clean work. All done here at KHP. So, golly, look at that, guys. Super clean truck. I remember seeing this truck when it was getting built. I didn't. This is the first time actually I see it turned on. So, damn, look at that. It has a lot of stuff in there, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah. It's the top of the line stuff too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kike, he he always makes sure whatever top of the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, transmission, everything, differential, everything, suspension, everything. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. That's a crazy build. Mm -hmm. So y'all taking this one to that event? Yes. Yeah, we, uh, they got the full throttle promotion event at H and P uh, later this evening, but we're just. We'll watch the trailer, we're about to watch the truck so we can load it up and go do some test hits yeah. before the event. Okay, okay. Shit. We might have to go out there with you and check what this thing does. Yeah, yeah, we'll be out there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll be yeah. Out there. Damn, this thing is nice. Check it out, guys. Full, gutted, has a dash, though. Yeah, that's clean. Look at that, guys. Have y'all ran it before? No, bro. We just turned it on two weeks ago well it's been on it's just that we're finishing up the transmission and some of the suspension uh, -huh. uh we just dynoed it about a week and a half ago and we're preparing for the events that are coming okay, so up this so this is the first time y'all gonna take we're, it out it's gonna see the track yeah oh damn yeah, that's pretty cool hell yeah so i definitely gotta hit that up damn that's a big old screen in there yeah Woo, man he ain't playing look at that some bogards yeah guys this is this is a clean truck man hopefully one day one day Yeah. Alright guys, so there you go. Kike just went ahead and tuned the truck. He said everything looks good. Like I said, it did is a little quiet because we don't have any headers, but it doesn't sound bad. Uh, also a coolant lines is it actually cracked. And so we're gonna have to replace that. But no big deal. We're just gonna replace it when we get home. And uh, everything this truck will be running straight. We're definitely gonna take it to get washed because it is a little dirty and a little dusty. So we're gonna get this thing up and going and uh yeah big shout out to khp obviously for the tune and uh the cam so thanks to my boy miguel right here hooked me up with the cam yeah for sure and uh the tune so and y'all definitely anything y'all need hit up khp for all the installs parts and everything like that so definitely hit them up where can they hit you up uh, they can check us out on Instagram or Facebook at KHP Performance and Tuning. Or our address is 2913 Shaver Street, Pasadena, Texas, 77502. Our phone number is 713-492-0876. We're open Monday through Saturday from 10 to 630. So there you go, guys. Anytime, anything y'all need, definitely hit up KHP. Miguel's pretty much going to be the one that's going to be answering. So he'll definitely get you scheduled in and everything like that right now. Y'all are pretty packed here, right? But they yeah. can, you can definitely schedule yeah, people definitely. in from Kedah. So there you go, guys. Definitely don't miss your chance. Make sure y'all hit them up. Make sure that you have that special. Definitely take advantage of it. It saves a lot of money. Definitely get you running right. So definitely check them out. But we're going to go ahead and go ahead back to Conroe. Let's go ahead and hope back. Well, there you have it, guys. The truck is back at home. Finally tuned. I had to replace the hose that was cracked uh, from the coolant line. But I went ahead and replaced it. Everything's pretty much done. I shouldn't have any overheating issues. It has a brand new radiator, everything like that. And then obviously with that KHP tune already on, uh, truck's working really good. You can hear it. You can hear it, it's a little low like I said. I'm not gonna lie, I like it, because you can still uh, obviously hear your music inside. It's not crazy loud on the inside, uh, but I would like it to be a little louder outside. So I don't know, I'm gonna do some research, pretty much get on YouTube, check out videos, and then probably try to get somebody's uh, input on what I can get that sounds good outside and won't be drony inside. So we're gonna do that on the next video. We're probably gonna look that up and uh, see what exhaust I end up going with. But right now I'm happy with it. I'm just happy I got the truck running again. So comment down below, let me know what else I should do to it. Let me know what exhaust I should get. Do y'all think will sound good? And if y'all know and a, a good exhaust, like I said, that sounds good outside and won't be crazy droney inside, let me know, drop a comment. Then also let me know what else I should do to it. Uh, we are still gonna do the relocation kit and the Viking shocks. So big shout out to Viking for sponsoring me on that. We still got that to do. Do Also, I got one more thing coming that I do have here. And I've actually been having it for a while. And uh, I don't know, we might slap it on. But y'all have to wait to see what that is. Uh, for now, this is going to be it for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.